One hour of Bathurst, day into night, heavy damage in the Dodge Viper. Absolutely brutal. Here in the next round of the Gran Turismo World Series, I tried to survive what would turn out to be the most challenging race I've faced in a long, long time. Right, let's go. Pray for me. So this race is gonna be about an hour long. Those tires are so cold. Got company already. Yep. Let's just keep it cool for these first these first 27 laps. Consistency is going to be a key. Ahead of everything else. Need a good exit. We've got an okay exit. Now I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing during this. So apologies in advance. I need full concentration. Right. One up and over the mountain done. Go for the move there. Pretend like I'm confident. Let's go. The good thing about this Viper is a bit of a monster in a straight line. The rest of this place, though, is a bit. Ugh. Someone's already crashed. Steve's crashed. Everyone's crashed. Is he okay? I mean, he's got a penalty, but is he okay? We'll find out down this straight, I guess. Heavy damage, of course. Oh! Gonna get swallowed up by that lot. Up to P10 though. Let's try and pull away as they battle. Honestly, this car, right, fuel, five and a half laps. So yeah, we just need to be careful here. Yeah. We need to save a lap of fuel somewhere. One thing this uh, Viper is not great at is saving fuel. Funny that. Make sure we get it in a straight line before we get the power down. Get out the wall. So there's definitely a few packs forming. You can see first two are off. Then there's a middle pack. There's the pack we're in. And then there's someone in last. Right, I'm going to lift and coast here. Have to adjust, obviously, your braking points and that sort of stuff. Should be flat through there. I think everyone's going to have the same struggle. 3.2 as we cross the line.
beginning to hear that Ferrari in my rear view. Or, I'm beginning to hear it. Not in the rear view. There isn't one. Oh! Oh! We survived! Just... Go. Oh. And that is what this race is all about. All right, 1.6. We've got to save a lap somewhere. We do on the next stint, I think. I will take tyres. Someone's off. Or are they coming in? What are they doing? Let's have a look at the track map. Is that an off or an in? That's an in. He's got a lot of work to do. We've got 1.4 laps. That's good. We've done a bit of saving, so we should be good. First in. Done. Let's see who else comes in. Does anyone else not come in? What? Hards on. Right, let's go. We've got to find a lap here somewhere. Hello? Oh, there you are. on the way out with these new cold tyres. Go. Go on, go for it. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. You're probably thinking, why have you just let him through? Why did you change early? Why didn't you defend? Try and save some fuel, shall we? I just need to let him go, I think. So what we've got to do here is we've got to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20, 28. So we've got 19. So we've got to go at least 10. I want to avoid doing a splash and dash at all costs. Oh, this is tough sledding right now. Real tough sledding. I want to keep an eye on Steve's time behind. If he's fuel saving as well. Mercedes is great on fuel. Let's just try and squeeze one more lap out here.
Part of me wants to go chase JJ a little bit. See if we can get into this slipstream, but I don't know. Yeah, he's going to have to go halfway, I reckon. We have to get an extra lap in. Fuel saver in the Viper is not ideal. Nor is being in the wall, but that's okay. Someone else is in the wall and they're out, so the that's three now gone. I mean I don't even know what to do. Normally I have chat telling me what to do, but here... This is bad. We're doing this and we're kind of pulling away from Steve at the moment. Everyone's got to be fuel saving like an absolute lunatic. Oh, this is... Uh not ideal. We just have to get to the end. And it's so distracting trying to fuel save. Three point seven. We need five point three of a lap. We've done all right so far. Come on, it's painful at the moment, but it's worth it. It is worth it. Two point eight. We need to save more. I need to use Steve here. If he gets close enough, we might have to borrow some uh, borrow some uh, slipstream. Oh, that's going to help. How's the fuel? Two point three. We've got to go for it. We can't not. This is horrendous. Two point 
two. We've just about done enough. Witchell's come in. Come on. Feel free to swipe take any time you want. Right, how are we doing fuel wise? 1.4 Don't know if he's saving fuel there. I'm gonna have to lift. So if you wanna go for it, you go. Just don't fight that. 1.2 I know! One point one. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Then we need to make it last ten laps. Oh my word. All this to avoid a third pit stop. Right, 0 0.6. How many percent? Six percent. The car with Jack is having similar problems, I think. For 0.4. Four percent. Right, we've done it. We done it. Don't mess it up on the pit entry. Get in. Right, hards again. Yes. Hards, please. And I want to fill this thing all the way up. So we've got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Ten laps. Right, so we've got two options here. I think we should be sensible in the first half, because that needs to be 10. So it'll show you how far away we are. We need to be nine. Will we run out of fuel? So I think the first port of call, we've got no one behind us, 15 seconds behind. We've got no pressure. Is he recovering? Yeah, he's recovering from a penalty. So first things first, we need to get onto where we, are, where we need to be in terms of fuel. Then we can start finding out where our pace can be. But at the moment, we've got 0.4, potentially 0.5 to find. Yeah, half a lap. Let's go. So we need that to be eight. What's a bit annoying is because that guy's so close behind me, I can't check my fuel. Okay, so what was it last time? 8.5. Again, normally I'd look over at chat and go, was it 8.5? And you'd go, no, it was 8.3 or something. But this time I've got to work it out all alone. I'm sure it was 8.5. Big lifting coast. Save point whatever. Point one. It's not going to be enough. More lifting, more coasting. Go 
on, go. Go for it. Perfect. He's not happy. He must have touched something. Six point two. Oh, it's frustrating. Right, we're almost where we need to be. Six as we cross the line, we're 5.9. We're almost there. We've almost done the hard work. Let's go. going again. This could just be a battle for the top 10 here. We've done it. We're now in the green fuel wise. We found ourselves about a lap. A lap's worth of fuel. Now let's stay there. You see the car in front's beginning to push now. He's obviously a bit more confident in his fuel. Be interested to see how those in front are doing with fuel. I wonder if any of the front guys are going to pit again. Someone's pit. Someone's pit. I saw it flash up then. Still okay with fuel. I think some people are just absolutely going for it. Just realised the sun's setting as well. Just throw that into the mix. Go. I mean, look, there's a group of them up ahead. Oh, just going through to the penultimate big corner there. The cutting. I think it is. It's been a long race. 3.3. Still need to lift. Frustration beginning to creep in a bit now. Feel a little bit like I've been trying to fight with one arm behind one arm behind my back or one arm tied behind my back whatever the phrase is just this viper as we know is not good but even yeah it's tough i don't know if the better strategy would have been to absolutely just go for it and try and make up the difference of a pit stop over 28 laps Sure, but we just need someone to come in or someone to make a mistake. Oh. Come on, someone must have calculated their fuel wrong. Oh, 
It's almost dark now as we start the penultimate lap. Fuel's looking okay, so we can push a tiny bit more. Right, is anyone going to come in or have they all calculated it right? They've all calculated it right, I think. We've done so as well. 1.3 uh, laps of fuel as we cross the line to start the final lap. Oh, this could be potentially the most frustrating race that I have done. At the start, I was worried about the walls. That was the least of our worries. It was the fuel we needed to worry about. You know, I mean, there's an argument whether I should have just gone for it. I mean, hindsight's 2020. Should I have gone for it and just made up more time in the 28 laps than another pit stop? Maybe. If I had my time again, maybe I'd do that one. But in a fuel saver like this, you know, as beautiful as this track is, as the sun sets here and the stars come out and you'll see the town of Bathurst in the distance. No, is it Bathurst in the distance? Yeah, it is. I'm thinking Kyle Army in Johannesburg. It's just, yeah, it's felt like I've, fought, I've had to fight with one arm behind my back with the fuel. Same for everyone I know. But for me, ah, oh, it's, it's frustrating as the leaders cross the line already. I mean, we've done all we can. I'm confident in that, but sometimes you just don't have the machine for the job. I mean, I haven't been perfect. And apologies if this is your first time here. I normally do better videos than this. If you've been here more than once, then you know I show you everything. And I know I'm going to be asked, did I do the Gran Turismo World Series? I'm going to say yes. And the answer can't be... I didn't do well, so I didn't show you. So I'm going to show you. So I hope you've enjoyed this anyway. 0.3 laps of fuel. And we're going to come across the line for an extremely frustrating 11th place. <sighs> if you're still with me, make sure to check out the link video here. Thanks for sticking around. Remember to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.